Let no corrupting talk come out of your mouths, but only such as is good for building up, as fits the occasion, that it may give grace to those who hear. Have you ever been put in a position that tested you to the extreme? Or it revealed your inner you that you did not really know? Well, stay with us and listen to the following. Many continues in hiding with unknown ins and outs in and his reality remains unknown till he starts dealing in the practical experience. Then it reveals him. We do not mean the experience of many years, but in one incident he could be uncovered, such as what happened with Adam and Eve. Or maybe something new enters his life and his insides start showing. For example, becoming rich. His wealth reveals him and shows qualities that were not obvious before. As the poet says, when my friend became a man of wealth, I became sure that I lost my friend. Money could show that this person has stinginess, extravagance or desires. It also could show if he has generosity, charity or compassion. Money could also show if he has the tendency to use his wealth as means of control. Another point, this person could also be revealed by holding a position of authority. It shows if he has pride, self-concite, predominance, self-assertion, cruelty, violence, bias or injustice. All these are revealed by high position and authority. It also shows if he is capable, gifted or uses authority for what is good, beneficial and for the love of people. It could also show if this person has incapability, misbehavior or mismanagement. Talking also reveals one's mentality and knowledge. You don't know the reality of a quiet person. Once he speaks, his talk reveals him. His language shows him. Therefore, the Bible says, If the ignorant does not talk, he will be considered wise. Tribulations also reveal the nature of the one facing them. One problem a person faces could reveal his reality if he is strong and endures intelligent and acts well or gets disturbed and troubled, fears, worries, despairs quickly or collapses. Another person is revealed by marriage or general dealings with others. Before that, nobody knew his reality. They knew him after he dealt with others, or his wife, or his mother-in-law, or his family life. One may talk theoretically about principles and ideals, but when given the chance to apply what he believes in, his reality will be revealed. So, be who you really are from the inside, and do not fake the life that you are not from the outside. Stay with us and let's look at the following story. In his own eyes, Mike was the most popular guy around. He boasted to his date, really, she said, and just how m many women are you intending to marry? Maybe you know the guy. But like the story of a young woman who wanted to go to college, her heart sank. However, when she read the question on the admission form that asked, are you a leader? Being both honest and conscientious, she wrote no and returned their application expecting the worst. To her surprise, she received this letter from the college. The applicant, a study of the admission forms reveals that this year our school will enroll 1,452 new leaders. We would like to accept you because we feel it is imperative that they have at least one follower. Sometimes a little bit of humble pie goes well with a rich meal. Actually, what passes for consight in many people 
is often just a plea for attention. A poor sense of self may cause one to want to be the prominent star in every consultation. Humility, on the other hand, does not require that one shine less brightly than the others. Simply that all be given opportunity to shine. That great 19th century African-American educator Booker T. Washington exemplified the power of simple and mother spirit. A story is told of a day when Washington, then a professor at Tuskegee Institute in Alabama, happened to pass the mansion of a wealthy woman as he walked to work. The woman did not recognize him and called out, Hey you, come here. I need some wood to be chopped. She was a product of her southern post-Civil War culture and simply perceived him as a black man who was there to do her bidding. Without a word, Dr. Washington peeled off his jacket, picked up an axe and went to work. He not only cut a large pile of wood, he also carried the firewood into the house and arranged it neatly by the fireplace. He had scarcely left when a servant said to the woman, I guess you don't recognize him, ma'am, but that was Professor Washington. Embarrassed and ashamed, the woman hurried over to Tuskegee Institute to apologize. The great educator respectfully replied, there's no need to apologize, madam. I'm delighted to do favors for my friends. The professor may have taught one of his greatest lessons that day. It was a lesson about astronomy. He taught that every star can shine without one outshining all the others. It was a lesson about peace. He taught how self-interest must often be set aside for the good of the whole. And it was a lesson about spirituality. He taught about the power of a meek and humble spirit in a world where aggression is too often confused with strength. It is a lesson where we are still learning. Live in a humble spirit and you will win over the whole world. Stay with us and listen to the following prayer. My Lord Jesus Christ, your origin was pure without sin and you took a body like ours to show your unconditional love for all mankind. Help me, Lord. Keep a humble and honest heart throughout my life. Amen.